Tonight, actor David Spade is speaking out on the death of his sister-in-law, Kate Spade. He posted this picture on his Instagram account, adding that she could make me laugh so hard and that he couldn't believe it happened. As the country reacts to Spade's death, Kansas City, of course, her native city, still feeling the impact. And 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post introduces us to some metro area women who look to Spade for direction. Well, Rhiannon, the Kate Spade store behind me on the plaza is one of 175 all over the world where you can still buy Kate Spade merchandise. And of course, that's also in department stores, but hearts are heavy here in her hometown of Kansas City, where lots of women are saying she inspired them. Casey native Catherine Snellen danced in these Kate Spade heels at her wedding. It just felt so magical and I will always remember that moment. Before Kate Brosnahan Spade was known for her bright colors and whimsical designs, she was a graduate of St. Teresa's in KC. Her handbags and shoes launched in 93 and turned into a lifestyle. Just had this like spark of inspiration. She wanted to create a business, didn't know what it was, and her husband was like, you need to do bags. That's what you love. Eventually, that brand sold for millions. In 2016, Spade came to halls in KC. We must have had over 400 people here to meet Kate. As she launched a new line called Francis Valentine, named after her daughter. I got to hear her talk about her career and how she got started in building her brand. Spade inspired Snellen, who started her own creative marketing company, KES Studio. Kate Spade was a brand that I was always looked up to because they created a total experience from what you saw online to the store. KC fashion blogger Jana Meister met her as well, eventually taking a trip to NYC to her showroom. I think she always kept her Midwest roots and she was so kind and helpful to everyone. In fact, Spade raised more than $300,000 for traumatic brain injury in the metro. Certainly she's going to be missed, of course in Kansas City, uh, but also throughout the country. She was a dynamo who positively impacted the fashion industry. Halls as well as several other retailers have confirmed lots of people calling about those Francis Valentine handbags. And actually, if you go to her website, every single one of the bucket handbags is now sold out. Reporting live in Kansas City, Belinda Post, 41 Action News. Accessories as well. Belinda, nice to see how much she inspired others here in the metro. Thank you.